Hey guys and welcome to another Deviant Army Twitch tutorial. In today's episode we're going to take you through a step by step guide instructing you on how to set up PS4 Remote Play. Hope you find this video helpful and without any further ado, let's get into it. Now before we dive in, it is very important to note that you are going to need a few things. You are going to need a PSN account, whether it is active or not is kind of irrelevant. You need it to be able to sign into the network be able to sync your machines you'll need a ps4 controller i actually have two so i've got one connected to the ps4 and one connected to my pc it just makes the whole sign in process and syncing process a lot easier and faster and you will also need to connect both your pc and your ps4 by a wired connection it will work with wireless but it will work a lot smoother a lot faster and a lot better connection speeds if you use a wired ethernet connection once you've got all that you are ready to go Okay, so first things first is actually getting the app. Simply typing PS4 Remote Play in Google will do the job. However, I will include a link to this website in the comments down below. It's very simple here. Once you've got onto this page, you can select Windows PC or Mac PC. Very easy, select one of those. It will download the config file and simply install it from there. Once the app is downloaded, it is a very simple, straightforward process from there on out. There are two ways in which you can connect your PS4. Um, one is an automatic way and one is a manual way. The manual way is really a backup and a way in case for some reason your network can't sync automatically, but they're both very simple and straightforward. We're gonna go with the automatic way first, and then I will show you how to do the manual way after. So to do the straightforward and simple automatic way, simply sign into your PSN network here. Choose which uh, resolution you want your PS4 to be in. I only have an old PS4, so there's no point in trying to stream in 1080 because it doesn't actually do that or work in any way. So I just stick it to 720 because it uses less bandwidth and makes a more stable connection, keeping the frame rate high. I have use keyboard text entry on. It just makes it a lot easier if you need to type to anyone or do anything. And then this here is change the PS4 to connect blue. Simply hit change and it will start searching automatically. As long as your PS4 is switched on and signed in, it should find it no problem at all. Now for the manual submission, it's a little bit different. Um, basically what you would do is you would hit the change button exactly as before, but then hit register manually before it has a chance to try and connect or if it's not connecting or having trouble finding your PS4 via the network. Um, I would suggest doing this if you're using wireless just because it enables you to force start the connection. Here you will have a code that you will have to enter and you find that on your PS4, which I will show you now. If you're registering manually, what you will do is you will go down to your settings and then you will scroll all the way to remote play connection settings. You will then simply hit add a device and a code will come up on the screen, which you will then copy into the remote play app. It really is that simple. You can then use your PS4 as you would normally, um, but you can stream with it with all of your alerts from OBS. To add it to OBS, you simply add a display capture. You can do it with a game capture, but it can be a bit finicky as to when it starts up. So I always stick with display capture because it just makes it that little bit easier. So there you have it guys, a quick step-by-step -step tutorial of how to set up your PS4 remote play. Any questions or queries, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. I hope you found this video useful. And once again, have a great night. Ciao, ciao.